In this video of Cognos Training Tutorials 10.2, uh, we are going to talk about the report number two country heads. If you would recall in the last video, we have created a report and we were able to create the, the prompts. Now today, we are going to create the cascading prompts on country and city and we are going to then format the report. So going back in here, you can see that this report was created. Please refer the previous video. And when you select India or US, you would see the cities do not reflect to reflect the change or the selection of the country. So for now, I'm going to do select all and say finish. So you can see that the US cities are shown. I'm going to go back and show you how to create a cascading prompt. So there are multiple methods to create cascading prompts. I'm going to go back to my report, go to the prompt page and make this, this is my country. So I'm going to make this change. And here in the required section or in the general section under multi select, I'm going to say no because for now I want just an ability to select one country. In the videos to come, I'm going to show you how to create a cascading prompt for multiple select options. So for now, you click on country and select multi select as no. You can change UI or keep it the same. I would change it to the drop down. And this auto submit I'm gonna change it to yes so the country is the parent prompt and the values of country would drive the values in the city so in here I selected country and I made three changes multi select no select UI drop down list and auto submit as yes next step select city prompt and there needs to be only one change here make the cascade source as country so selecting this button in the drop down select country so basically your country value should drive the selections in the city let's run the report so here I'm gonna select US and it's gonna run but it gave me an error interesting let's see what the error is whenever you have this kind of an error look at the first line and it says local processing of data this means that there are some things which the database cannot handle as you may recall in my previous videos we are using a Microsoft Access database which is MDB and MDB is not supporting cascading functionalities so Cognos would say I don't care I am going to support the cascading functionalities on the Cognos server. So in order to manage this, you have to go back to the Query Explorer, go to Queries and change the processing property of the prompt queries, both the prompt queries to limited local. So in the processing, you can see there are two properties, database only and limited local. Database only means everything, all the functionalities would be supported by database only, but limited local would divide the functionalities based on if the database is not able to support, the Cognos server would support this functionality. So 
I am selecting limited local. Next, go and run the report. And now you would see that the prompts for US, you can see there is the refresh only happening for the cities of US and prompts for India, you can see the refresh is only happening for Indian cities. I'm going to select this, say finish and you would see this report. So these are cascading prompts for country and city. Next, I do not like the prompt page. I want to make this prompt page look a little better. So let's do some formatting around the prompt page. So I'm going to go here to the prompt pages, select on prompt page one, and this is my prompts. From the toolbox, I'm going to drag and drop a table. It's going to ask me number of columns, two, and number of rows, two. I'm going to click on OK. You can see this table here. Drag, select the country prompt and drag this country prompt on the first row, second column on the right side. Next, drag this and put it in the second column. So this is city, this is country. Next, drag a text item and put it here. You say it's country. And here, you can put the text item city you can arrange it the way you want it make it bold do some formatting which makes it look prettier and also I'm gonna copy the header this header box the block so right click copy and go to page explorer go to prompt and you can drop it here and then you can drop the country this text underneath it sorry so to drop it underneath it you would need another block and then drop this text here there you go so this is how you would change for formatting and stuffs save the report and then next go to let, let's go to the next requirement so now we have to create a drill through link on CT to another report so in the next video we are going to talk about how to create a child report and connect through a drill through link so that it it can go from one report to another report. Thank you for watching this video.